When you think about choosing Django or Node.js, ask yourself, what problem am I trying to solve? So how do you make a choice? Watch till the end to find out. You're on the Jelvix channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. And don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. Today, we wanted to start in an unusual way for our channel. We wanted to take a moment and recommend a channel to everyone interested in programming. This is Code Explained. As you can see, the channel covers various topics, producing high quality, easy to follow coding tutorials. Especially for JavaScript learners, this channel will be essential. We at Jelvix just loved their Snake Game tutorial series. The link to Code Explained is in the description. Check it out. Now, let's move on. Comparing two technology stalwarts as Django and Node, let's start with similarities. Backend technologies such as Django and Node.js provide application architecture and testing, debugging, and database management tools. Both are open source, have a vast web community, and used in countless projects, at Jelvix as well. But on Google Trends, Node.js is almost twice as popular as Django. Why do you think? Drop it in on the comments. So what is Django and how popular is it? Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean, pragmatic design. It allows concentrating on the UI and UX of the app and not worrying about its back-end technology. With over 64,000 stars and more than 2,200 contributors on GitHub, Django should be considered reasonably popular amongst developers. It was used by 43.51% of professional developers last year. More than 2,500 businesses have reported using Django on Stackshare. And what about Node.js and its demand for developers? That open source, cross-platform, back-end JavaScript runtime environment runs on the JavaScript engine, that is, V8 engine, and executes JS code outside a web browser. Node.js starred over 88,000 times on GitHub and gathered more than 3,000 contributors with 36,000 commits. According to Stackshare, 8,000 companies and 46.31% of developers reportedly used Node.js. Now let's take a closer look at the key characteristics of Django and Node.js. The most prominent point is that Django is a back-end web framework, while Node.js is a runtime JavaScript environment. Can we compare them? Yes, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's start with the architectures of Django and Node.js. Django follows the model template view architecture and provides an easy method for developing complex websites. Node.js works on a single-thread event-driven model that runs on an operating system to maintain requests and develop high-end applications. The next aspect is security. Django is more secure than Node.js, as it has a built-in system protecting it from any security failure. Node.js is not as secure as Django and requires manual operations in the system to manage security flaws. Now, let's consider scalability. According to Jelvix developers, Node.js is superior at handling numerous requests, while Django is better for high-traffic projects with not-so-frequent requests. In terms of performance, Django seems better, owing to a built-in house template system promoting the execution of a vital task promptly. Node.js performance is good, as it permits more liberty in implementations. But this inflates the overall web development time needed to produce an application. Now, what about speed? Python checks the syntax before running the program and then compiles and converts it into bytecode. Jelvix developers say that Node.js plus Express are very fast, but this speed comes at the cost of less security since requests are processed asynchronously in one process and even as a JS thread. We can say that Node.js is more complex than Django. You must adhere to a specific pathway to solve any problem. Django is less complicated than Node.js. Here, you can solve any problem you want. Another important parameter is cost efficiency. 
As Django is deadline-oriented, it enables the build of working, intelligent software amazingly fast, making it quite cost-efficient. Regarding Node.js and JavaScript development, it's a little more time-absorbing, therefore less cost-efficient. So, which companies use Node.js? The list of Node.js fans is quite impressive. PayPal, LinkedIn, Netflix, Uber, eBay, Yahoo, Walmart, and Medium use Node.js for building social media apps, video, text chant engines, tracking apps, and myriad online games. Which companies prefer Django? In the long list, we can see Spotify, Dropbox, Mozilla, Discuss, YouTube, and Instagram that use Django and benefit. With Django, they implement new and unique features, owing to its support of emerging technologies like ML and data science. We recommend you read the article describing the latest AI and machine learning advancements supported by Django. As usual, the link is in the description box. And in conclusion, we can say that Django and Node.js are powerful technologies with many potential use cases. Prioritize your project and use Django for fast, scalable MVP development and complex, feature-rich, secure applications like fintech. Use Node.js to build APIs, microservices, and solutions that require high bandwidth, such as streaming platforms. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team, which helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends weekly, so subscribe to get all the videos. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel, and don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.